it's me Shani and today I'm going to be showing you my September favorites so all the things I've been loving recently and I don't have a ton of crazy new stuff but I do have a good amount to show you today of makeup, skincare, I have a candle, I have um, like a fall decor item, I have some clothing so I just thought I'd kind of go through and show you everything. I hope you guys have had an amazing September. I feel like it flew by. Um, the day I'm filming this is September 30th, so it is the last day of September, but I'm excited for October. I love Halloween. I love um, the spooky season, so I'm excited for that, but let's just get on into it and talk about my favorites. So I have one fail this month, and I'll just start with the fail. I have the Earth Harbor Mermaid Milk Moisturizer and it's actually a really nice moisturizer like on the skin I feel like it does the job nicely however the smell is something I just don't enjoy I got this as a boxy charm pop-up item I just love the name Mermaid Milk <laughs> for a moisturizer so I bought it because of that which is silly but yeah it's just it's made with matcha and it's I like matcha but this smell just on the skin it kind of translates funky it like it doesn't smell it doesn't smell like expired or anything but the matcha in it just doesn't smell good on the skin and it lingers like I am not the type of person that's sensitive to scents or fragrances but I just I don't know I feel like I can smell it on my skin when I'm wearing it and I don't enjoy it too much I'm gonna keep it and try to use it maybe as a body moisturizer or maybe as a face moisturizer but you know just try to use it up because it is a good product I like how it makes my skin feel but I just don't enjoy the smell so I wouldn't recommend that one but other than that these are all favorite products so let me start with some skincare I have the two Thrive Cosmetics T Timeless Ambition. This is one of their newer collections. This is the Power 10 Peptide Sculpting Serum. And then this is the Power 7 Peptide Firming Moisturizer. And I've been using these for a little while now and I love them. They have like a little pop-up twist uh, pump. And the serum is really nice and lightweight. It's not too heavy or sticky on the skin and I really enjoy it and because they have both have so many peptides this has 10 peptides this has seven it's so good for your skin and it's really good for um, anti-aging as well and so that's really really awesome loving the serum and then the moisturizer is so nice as well they're fragrance free um, sulfate free paraben free they're you know they're great for the skin and um, this has line smoothing complex and so basically I use this and then I go in with this and it's just, I don't know, match made in heaven. I really enjoy these two together and I've been using them and I wanted to shout them out. So I love this and I love their whole concept behind this line is like, you know, not really anti-aging because they believe that aging is a privilege and you want to, you know, you want to... Aging is a great thing, but we want to look as young as we can, so that's kind of what they did with this line, and I absolutely love that because, you know, it just, it's cute how they advertise it, so love that. And then I have the, I got a few of the Super Shock eyeshadow, or Super Shock shadows from uh, ColourPop, and this is the Disney Princess collection. I got a few of them from this collection, so the whole collection is really uh, favorite of the ones I got but I didn't get all of them but this is a specific favorite the Rapunzel shade it is called I see the light and it's just this gorgeous purple shimmer shade with like flecks of gold in it I think it's gold <laughs> it's so so pretty and I've been using this one a lot I want to get more use out of the other ones that I bought but I wanted to shout out this one just because this has been a go-to favorite this month because I'm loving me purple all the time. <laughs> all year is my favorite color purple. But next I have a lip balm favorite that's kind of random. This was just thrown in my collection. I think I got it from a book subscription service a long time ago. This is Geek Fire Labs Midway Mini Donuts Lip Balm. Cinnamon Donuts. And it just gets me in the fall mood. 
because it smells like donuts and I absolutely love that. <laughs> I don't know, it just smells like fall and like cinnamon donuts and I absolutely love it. So I've been using this as my lip balm recently. Okay, next we have two eyeshadows. I have the Maven Beauty Cosmic Drip eyeshadow palette and I kept the box because I think it's so cool. And I don't always do that, but it is in the shade Stargate. And here it is. I did include this in my recent eyeshadow palette for fall video that I uh, recently, I think I uploaded it already. And it's so gorgeous. Just such pretty shimmer shades. This gold has like green, a green undertone and it's so beautiful. This blue is gorgeous. And then the burgundy and like light beige shade are just so pretty so I've been reaching for this a lot it wasn't my shop my stash but just in general I wanted to mention this I got this in a boxy charm and really have been enjoying it so I wanted to mention that guy and yeah I no normally keep packaging but I thought this was so cute and then another one of my shop my stash this month was the beauty bakery breakfast in bed palette and that was also in that video check out that video for other eyeshadow palette recommendations but i just love this one for this time of year it is more of a cool toned purple palette and i did actually pair this guy with these mattes and that was fun but love the shimmers in here and i love the mattes and it's just a cozy glam type of palette and i really enjoy that so love this one as well this month then okay so that was it for makeup and skincare i believe um then we have some randoms i'll go ahead and talk about clothes so i just have more comfy shorts to talk to, to talk about from um tj maxx i have these cheetah print ones that are so soft and they're from the brand nine west as you can see on the little tag there and then these also came with it, the black ones and like it says Nine West on the tie and so this was a set I think only for like 10 bucks and I love them and I wear them a lot so love those and then I had another set of two one is in the wash but then these ones I don't know if I mentioned these last time but they're super soft and they're from the brand uh, Born and I wear the size medium just really enjoy them I actually think I have a coffee stain on this one I'll have to see but love comfy shorts from TJ Maxx and basically that's it I haven't really worn anything new as like or bought any <laughs> new clothes recently but I should because I always need to I like to refresh my wardrobe but those are some clothes favorites and then um random I have this this candle from DW Home, also TJ Maxx is where I got this one. It's Vanilla Cupcake, and I actually burned it completely through this one. It is done, but it was so nice. It really, I feel like some candles don't like spread the scent throughout the whole room, but this one really did. Like it was so nice. You could smell it um, even further away when I lit it, and I don't know, and it has the cute little top. I just thought it was so cute, so I pulled this out of my empties bin to share that with you that I really enjoyed this um, brand and this candle so love that and then a random favorite I have the Target little pink felt pumpkin that I got it was one dollar and I don't know it's like velvet and I think it's so cute and so I've had this in dis on display in my bedroom with my some of my makeup stuff and so I thought that was really cute and for a dollar like you can't go wrong and I feel like it's a nice looking little fake pumpkin so I <laughs> love that from Target in the dollar section and um oh I have this from Home Goods this oh by the way this was only $7.99 the candle and then this was $5.99 at Home Goods it's so gorgeous I also have a bigger one that I have makeup in currently this I keep brushes in but oh like makeup brushes but I thought this was so cute. It said it was made in the Philippines and it's like, you know, you could use it for office, an office organizer, but I use it for makeup and it has like gold detailing with the little shells on it. Absolutely love this. And I had, I have a bigger one as well of the same design. So I wanted to shout that out. Love that. And for a antique favorite, I have, I thought I'd include, um, a, I try to include a vintage makeup 
item every month to shout out and I have this from Evening in Paris for I don't know how to pronounce this for, for Raji <laughs> I said that wrong I'm sure but it's from the 50s I believe and it's so cool you my boyfriend bought me this one at an antique show that we went to it has a little mirror here and then it has Oh, it has little original puffs. It says evening in Paris. The person did not use the bright pink pow, uh, blush, but if you open this compartment here, it's really hard to open, but there was powder there, but there is no more powder in it, so the person must have used it up. And then there's a lipstick as well. And the lipstick doesn't look very used either, but it is corroded, so it's hard to like, you can't really um, twist it up at all on that. It wasn't really a twist up. It was more of like a pull up. Um, but I love this thing. I think it's so cute. And I think these were pretty common back then. And this was the type of packaging too. Like the very gold sleek look. But I thought that was so cool. Like a blush, a powder, and a lipstick in one. So I wanted to share that antique vintage makeup favorite. And... Lastly, I think, let me see here. Oh, also I wanted to say hot coffee. I've been enjoying like Starbucks blonde roast coffee because before I was iced coffee in the summer, but now I've switched to hot coffee and with the International Delight pumpkin pie spice creamer is a favorite for drinks, I guess. Um, so that is a favorite. But last but not least, I would say a big favorite of the month is my grandma's portrait that she gave me. I'm not going to show it here, but I am so excited. She gave me it. It's a long story, but I, I saw her portrait in her basement, and it was a portrait that she had done of just her, like, like her from here up, and it was just so beautiful of her when she was... 19 18 or 19 um when she was younger and like it's just a beautiful painting of her and i was like oh my gosh why is this in the basement this is so gorgeous it was just like thrown in the basement <laughs> and she was like i don't know you know it's so old and whatever and so anyway she ended up giving it to me and i'm so excited to hang it in my office slash makeup room um I'm just so excited about it so that is probably a, the biggest favorite of like the whole year in general <laughs> so that is awesome and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it wasn't as many stuff as, as much stuff as usual but I hope you still enjoyed I'd love to know what you've been loving this month and I hope you have a great rest of your day bye